Hello, hello. I am a little late. Please forgive my tardiness. Um, my husband works a little bit later on Friday, so um, to prevent too much chaos, um, I came on a little bit later. Uh, so I hope y'all don't mind. Um, but here I am, nonetheless, um, here to show you some fun stuff. Um, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today uh, than I normally would. Um, I got this idea that um, I wanted to show a mixture of things. And I decided recently that maybe if you guys hadn't known um, about investing a lot of time and energy on posting pictures um, on my social media platforms like um, Etsy, uh, eBay, things along those lines. So I wanted to, hi, hi, hi. I wanted to take you through today in between me showing you literal things that are in my hand um, to giving you an idea of what you can see and purchase off of my eBay and my Etsy. Um, at this time, since I'm showing you this evening, um, I will share the links in the chat as well so you can go with me, but I will screen share it. So I am on StreamYard. Um, so if there is a little bit of a lag, I do apologize about that. Um, but I will do my best to uh, answer your questions in the best way possible. Um, so like I mentioned, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'll go ahead and show you briefly right now. Um, make me small. So you can see right here, um, I have my eBay set up. And the reason I have my eBay set up to show you is... Um, if you are interested in an item, um, you can make me an offer right on the spot through eBay. Um, and I can either, you know, counter it or whatever, and we can agree upon a price and it can work from there. Hello, hello. Oh, you got your package today. Woohoo. Right on. All packages went out uh, since Monday was a holiday. They went out Tuesday. Um, and of course, I will be invoicing this evening from everything you purchased from me from Monday on. So I'm not going to start out hot with all of those items on eBay. I do have some in-hand items that I'd love to show you. Um, and of course, I have some items that I've made that I'd really love to show you. So hi, 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 Mayor. Oh my goodness. Hello, Carolina Lady, Anna, Wendy, Patty Teague. Deanna, Carol, thank you so much for being with me. Um, I know that I am late and I thank everybody uh, for being here with me. So I normally start off with a few buy it now items whenever I do my auction. But since it's just me, um, like I mentioned, I tend to do a lot of buy it nows. So um, I'll go through the gist of what I have and then uh, still waiting for your invoice. <laughs> I will get your invoice to you this evening. Um, and I didn't realize it was you who was emailing me. So thank you. Thank you. Um, like I mentioned, all invoices will go out tonight. I just require within 48 hours of payment. Um, the way it kind of works for me is um, I kind of wait for the payment throughout the weekend and everything goes out on Monday to the post office. So it gets to you as soon as possible. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to email me. Of course, let me go ahead and put my banner down here at the bottom um, and we'll go from there. Um, so to start out today, um, I, like I mentioned, have a few things um, that we're going to do buy it now. Um, and I'll just put the word in. And of course, if you're watching this on the replay um, and you're interested in an item, um, you can always email me. That just broke. So I'm not going to tell that. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. Let's start out with the first item. I'll quit jibber jabbering. Um, this sits at about three inches, including the bale and about two and a quarter inches, um, without the bale. This is like a ceramic pendant. Um, the signature down the bottom says by Polly has a few rhinestones on there. I thought she's just so pretty. She's got her little fur here. Uh, this is like glitter and it's a gold tone around the edge. I do not have a chain uh, for this, but I figured whatever you wanted to do with it could definitely be uh, whatever you wanted to do. So I'm going to do this uh, lady. 
as a buy it now for six. I believe she's either ceramic or some kind of um, material that will break. So uh, extra, extra shipping will be on this one. Um, not extra shipping, but I mean extra bubble wrap. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for being here, Carmen. So um, lady would be the magic word to claim her. I unboxed her and I thought, hi, Miss Jenny. Hi, 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 Jenny. I thought I needed to share. She is super cute. But if we have no interest, that is okay with me. It's Tom Tom. Mm -hmm. I have my daughter right next to me. So if you hear any, uh, hear any things. Uh, thank you so much, Anna. Really appreciate it. First, I wanted to make sure that I had enough stuff um, to fill up a box for you. So that's what took me some time is because I'm not just going to give anybody doo-doo. Um, so this guy right here in diameter sits two and a quarter. This is in a sterling silver cuff. Um, this opens and closes. It is adjustable. Um, it, you, it is pliable. You can move it. Um, it is a solid wrap around a twisted wrap. It is not marked. Hi, Ginger. Um, it is not marked, but it has been acid tested. Um, it is about, let's see, a quarter, like an eighth of an inch thick. Let me go ahead and give you guys a close up. There is some patina on it. You can most definitely. Do you want to say hi to Miss Jenny? Yeah. Hi. You should have seen her when, like, she like bulldozed me down when she heard you this morning, Jenny, um, on your auction. She was like, "Is that Jenny? Is that Jenny? Is that Jenny?" So. Hey. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, I was watching the iPad instead. You can watch the iPad. So this cuff right here. I'm going to do this one as a buy it now for 30. And I can provide weights in grams. Hi, Holly. And thank you so much. I did get your, um, your registration. Really appreciate that. Hello. Hello. Um, so again, $30 buy it now. This is solid sterling silver. Anna, you want the lady? No problem. I got that for you. She's pretty. All right. Thank you, thank you. So here it is again. Sterling silver. She's, it's not hollow. There is some weight to it. Again, unmarked. $30. Welcome, welcome, Holly. So glad you're here with me hanging out. Going to go ahead and put it over to the side. Um, I've got this fun one here. This is a, a vintage brooch. Um, and it is mother of pearl. This would be a perfect craft project or literally standing alone. It gives off a beautiful iridescence to it, a stunning pink, um, quite lovely. And she's thick. She's a little um, whopper sided a bit because this is this is from a shell. Um, but this you can tell um, the needle sticks out farther than the um, C-class pier, which is an indication to me that this is vintage. There is no signing or marking on it. Um, it is, sits at about two and a quarter inches long and about one and three quarter inches wide. I'm gonna do this one today as a buy it now for 12. If anyone's interested, $12. And let me know if the iPad is a little too. I know, but it's really loud, babe. She's been talking about boo boo all day. And I'm like, I don't, 
I'm not quite certain what boo-boo is. And she pulled up the iPad and she told me exactly who boo-boo was. And I'm like, she really stuck it to me. <laughs> Ladybug. 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 All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one. Um, I've got this really, really fun one. And I'm probably going to say that about a lot of stuff, but um, you may find that I tend to show a lot of different unusual things, things that have natural stones, uh, things along those lines. Um, this one right here. Hi, Carly. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. This one right here is a Coisonne. Uh, as far as what the um, what it might say on it, I'm not 100% certain. Um, but this is so cool. These are two koala bears. Um, I've only, I've seen quite a bit of Coisonne, um, but I haven't seen a lot of them that had koalas on them. I thought it was so cute. Um, it does have the back here. It's a bit thick. Let me go ahead and give you the, uh, yep, measurements on it. Uh, including the bale, it's about an inch and a half. Um, and it is about an inch and a quarter wide. Hi, Crystal. So this right here, I'm going to do this as a bitted item because you never know who's uh, fancy this might tickle. I'm going to start this guy off at $8. If anyone's interested, um, I'm hoping that if I twist it, you guys will be able to see um, the raised um, gold tone. The enamel is the thing that is sunken in. So that's how you can tell it's a real Coisonne is the enamel is encased in the gold tone. Starting at this guy off at $8. If anyone's interested, these two koala bears, one's on its back just hanging out and the other one's like, hey, I got some bamboo down here. I mean, it's a whole, you can make a whole drama out of this. It does have some braiding around the base. If no one's interested, I'll go ahead and set that aside there. Uh, On to some, some more critters. Um, I have this sterling silver giraffe charm. Uh, this could be a pendant, um, excuse me, to the head of the giraffe. It is about an inch and a half, and it is about a half inch wide. Mom, the iPad. What's wrong with the iPad? Check out that giraffe. Four legs, ears, and horns. When, fun story about giraffes. Um, I was so, like, tired and delirious and nuts. Uh, after I had my daughter, um, my husband and I, to kind of like keep us awake, uh, would Google giraffes fighting. Um, and we would just crack up and laugh because the way that they fight, I mean, it's brutal, but it's its really hilarious. Um, I'm going to do this guy. We'll do this as a starting bid of 12. I forgot that starting bid of eight. Did I say eight? <laughs> I usually have my mom here with me putting in my stuff. Um, I'm going to text her and be like, hey, can you write my stuff in for me? Hey, mom, I'm live. Can you put my stuff in for me? Love you. She'll know what I mean. All right. So again, this is sterling silver. I'm going to start this guy off at 12. He's heavy. I could provide a weight. Uh, he is not marked anywhere. Look at how cute. Got the tail and everything. Mommy, you got a face. All right. Cool, cool, cool. 
Thank you, Jenny. I didn't want you to have to work after you just got off of work. So if no one's interested, this does have a jump ring, of course, so it would hang just like this. It could be a charm. It's a huge charm. Or you could wear it as a pendant. Uh, can you not see my bid? Um, Anna, were you bidding on the koalas? Put in koala. If you, you were the only one interested um, about the koala. If you are. Hi, mom. So if that's the case, you can put koala in the chat. And the koala cuisine will be yours for eight. In the meantime, we're rocking with this giraffe. You bit on the koala? You got it. No problem. Sorry, like I mentioned, guys, I am on StreamYard, so there might just be a smidgel of lag, and I do apologize about that. Um, it's because, like I mentioned, I wanted to do a screen share a little bit later on today, so um, I do have you down for the koalas here. Anna. Thank you, thank you. Again, I apologize. Thank you so much. 31 people, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Really appreciate it. Hope your week ended well and you're going to have a wonderful weekend. Positive vibes. I'm going to go ahead and set this guy aside here, Mr. Giraffe. And I'm going to show you a costume one that I was absolutely got about. This guy's a size 10. Size 10. Maybe it'll show. There you go. So it's like a 9, 9 and a quarter, size 10. It's pretty much there. Look at this. Look at this. It's huge. It's ginormous. Uh, it sits at about, uh, I'd say, inch and a half um, long uh, by about an inch and a quarter wide. Check it. It's not missing any rhinestones. I'm going to do this one as a bitted item. Um, I mean, can you even... It is so, it's beautiful. Um, I'm going to do this guy starting off at, I have to start this at 10. <laughs> it looks like something your mom would be into. Uh, where is she? Jennifer. Oh, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Appreciate you. I know that there is a lot of things going on tonight, so I appreciate each and every one of you being here with me. Uh, again, this is what it looks like on the side. It is not missing any rhinestones. This is a fun one. It is um, front heavy, uh, if you could imagine. <laughs> um, it, is, it is quite heavy. The silver tone is nice. Let me go ahead and show you the inside here. I, I don't know. I can't uh, vouch for its history. It hasn't spoken to me yet. Um, but it doesn't appear to have any kind of um, worn on it. Um, hi, Mr. Jim. Hello, hello. One more day until your auction. She had a work capability test thing Wednesday. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry to hear that. How do you bid? Um, you would send in your... PayPal email and zip code to the moonstone mamas at gmail.com. Um, and once I receive that email, uh, then you're good to bid. Thank you so much. But I'll go ahead and set this guy off to the side. And let's go ahead and show something else. Um, so let's see here. I have a um, liquid silver uh, bracelet. I'm so used to um, the necklaces um, that I hardly get 
the bracelets. So that's really exciting. Um, this is a size seven. Uh, this is a screw or a barrel clasp. It does function properly. Um, it, this has been acid tested just today. It appears to have some um, like strawberry quartz or some rhodonite, possibly some turquoise colored stones. Um, here is your mixture here. And Laura, I got your information. Thank you so much. There is your barrel clasp. I'm going to start this guy off at $18. Looks like you have Onyx here. I did get it. Thank you so very much. And for those of you who are just, uh, just coming aboard, I will be invoicing this evening. And I just request that invoices be paid within 48 hours unless uh, other arrangements come up. I'm always uh, up to, uh, you know, communication for sure. Um, I usually ship out on Monday or the first available if possible. You'd like the last ring, no problem. I'll get this for you. $10. Thank you so much, sugar. It's a cute one. I was like, what? Thank you, thank you, and welcome. <laughs> Again, this is a size seven, all liquid silver, and of course your natural stones. I do not own a gem tester, um, so I am uncertain, can't provide 100% positivity as to what these stones are, but I can uh, guess. Really nice ones. Again, functional barrel clasp. Yee. All right. If we have no interest in that, I'll go ahead and pass it. So I want to go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So this right here, guys, is a bag of costume earrings. I'm I'm uncertain as to how many pairs there are, but uh, there's a lot of really fun ones in here. Um, I've got some name brand Coldwater Creek. I've got some vintage in here. I've got some India inspired polymer clay. And it's not what you think. These are definitely up my alley for being super cute. I'm going to go ahead and dump these out. I'm going to start this whole lot at $6. And maybe I'll be able to tell how many after I <laughs> dump them out. Um, but these right here are the polymer clay. How cute. Look at, I mean, can you even, right? So cute. These are pierced. Very fun. Very lightweight. The Yusha hot pink stunning gorgeous fun who needs kind of creepy but super cute bunny rabbit earrings you do there's the front there's the back yes also hematite elephants oh, those are their butts Aw, oh, thank you so much. Here they are. <laughs> Hematite elephants. Spent way too much time on them. All right, these ones are so super cool. Look at these. These would have been perfect for yesterday's auction, but didn't unbox them. Skull, crossbones. Hoops. How much more do you need? Um, these are the vintage ones. These have glass, faux pearls, gold tone, bead caps. What more do you need? These are not earrings, but these are vintage brooches. These are two identical ones. I'll just show one. They're like kind of... Um, 
flower or um, what are those things? Snowflakes. <laughs> There's no missing rhinestones. We have some Mille Fiore style. I can vouch if uh, these are Mille Fiore exactly, but they're in style of Mille Fiore. Little eyeballs or Murano glass. Um, here are the Indian Inspire ones that I was referring to. Have some natural stone. Really cute. Pikachu's in here. There he is. Um, but if we have no interest, and I still have more, um, these are Cold Water Creek. I can tell because I literally had a necklace. The exact same thing, and they're Cold Water Creek. I know. Have some more India inspired earrings there. Mare's in for six. <laughs> I got Mare in first, looking for eight. This is a tri colored. Um, it is silver tone, copper tone, gold tone, and has like a Celtic braid. Um, these are vintage as well. Very nice. Um, let's see here. Here's the other Pikachu. Pika Pika. Um, and then we have an S. Just in case someone's feeling extra sassy, you get some more S's in there. So we have Carly's out. Or excuse me, we have Mare that's out. Carly's at eight. Okie doke. Let me stick all these back in there. And mom, do you want to start counting it down for me? Very cute. I love the skull and crossbones. This is like literally one of my all-time favorite bags that I've put together. Lots and lots and lots of fun. And these ones, I got a... Michael, if you are interested... I would just need you to send in your PayPal email and your zip code to the Moonstone Mamas at gmail.com. Um, when you do that, I can accept your bid. But until then, we'll continue to call it. Sending now. Okay, we'll take a pause. These were the hematite. Little elephants there. Thank you again, Mom. And of course, these two here, um, I can tell that these are vintage because they're built up. There are layers to it. Uh, also, the needle goes a little bit past um, the clasp. And there is two of them, two identical ones. So very fun. Lots of earrings. Hi, Jennifer. Lots of earrings, lots of fun, lots of good stuff. Mostly for pierced ears. Hello, hello. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here with me tonight. Really appreciate it. We are waiting on Mr. Michael to send in his information, and then we will continue to call this and boot scoot along to... I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. It doesn't ever feel like I have a lot of scent. All right, let me see. It doesn't always feel like I have a lot of stuff, but then when I sit down, I'm like, yeah, I got, I got a lot of stuff. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Got it. All right, so we have uh, Michael at 10. Uh, Carly, did you want to come in for 12? Let me know. Carly's in at 12, looking for 14 now. Um, I don't, so we have the Cold Water Creek. We have some natural stone. We have some glass. No worries, no worries. Seriously, no worries. No worries at all. It's definitely okay. Uh, these ones right here and the Pikachus are may, maybe my favorite. All right, so we have Carly at 12. Michael is out. Thank you, thank you. We can start counting it. Quite a few pairs. 
so excited about that Pikachu. He'd make a super cute, like, second hole uh, earlobe piercing. Very fun. Lots of good ones in here. We're going to say fair warning. And we're going to say sold to Carly for 12. Thank you so much, Miss Carly. Really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who bid. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So let's do... Let's do a pair of earrings. Why not? Let's do, these are faceted carnelian. Um, I did not test the hooks, um, but these are gold tone for all intensive purposes. But these are a grape style. These are cascading. Um, all natural stones. They're very ice cold. And again, they are faceted, so they will catch the light quite beautifully. I'm going to do these as a buy it now for $8. The magic word will be grape. Anna, you want those? Congratulations. Thank you kindly. These are really pretty. Okay, um, let's go ahead and show this one. <laughs> it did, it really did. Um, this one in diameter sits at about two and a half inches. Hi, Cameron. Um, but this is another one that, of course, can be adjusted. I believe that this one is really spectacular. I like the minimalistic look to it. Uh, this right here, sterling silver cuff, and it has a turquoise colored stone. Now I have not done any kind of testing um, of this stone. I'm not certain that it is turquoise. It does not have an open back. So I'm unable to tell um, if, you know, if it has any natural matrixing, uh, what it looks like. The stone is so small that I didn't want to do any kind of destructive test to it. Um, but nevertheless, it is gorgeous. Definitely Southwestern. Uh, definitely turn up some style. Hi, Stephanie. We're going to do this one as a starting bid, and we're going to start this guy off at $28. Again, at any time anyone is interested in the grammage, I can definitely provide that to you. And let me go ahead and take another measurement here. in diameter measuring just the inside it sits at about two and a half two and a half the stone itself uh is about a quarter inch a quarter inch long about an eighth of an inch wide it is a little bit of a smaller one um, but it sure does pack a punch it has like an s i don't know what a, what this chain would be it kind of reminds me of this or an infinity kind of thing. It doesn't have a stamp on it. Well, I'll be dipped, it does. I was looking. Right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but right in this little little guy right there, it is stamped. Uh, stamped sterling. So that right there is a pretty good indication to me that this may be a vintage piece. Sorry about that. I had to adjust. My daughter finds her way more and more in my butt as the night progresses. <laughs> so again, there it is, all sterling silver. You have that natural stone there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. All right, no time like the present. Guys, if you have seen my... Um, if you've seen any of my videos the past couple of weeks, 
you have seen that I have started soldering. Uh, No, I am not the best at it. uh, But last night I cranked out something start to finish that I'm very proud of and I want to share with you guys. Uh, This one right here is a sterling silver ring that I made. Um, It has embellishments and on the back it does say buzz. It has all kind of marks on it as if the bumblebee was swirling around. And of course, as my first ever set in stone, um, I had to have it be a moonstone. (laughs) So um, this is what it looks like. (laughs) This is my bee ring. And on the inside, it says buzz. So really cool. Guys, I think, um, you know, if you're interested in something like this um, and you'd like to get a ring, you can see the gauge of the sterling silver wire is 10. Uh, It's a 10 gauge. So it's a pretty thick band here. It is my first complete creation, (laughs) I guess I should say. Um, I finally have the bezel set on this guy. Uh, So finally, 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 finally. Um, Another ring that I made. Yes, I made that. um, Is this guy right here. I went ahead and took a um, old button cover that was sterling silver and I soldered it to a ring band. No, these are not perfect. These are definitely artisan. Uh, I will go out and tweak them a bit round up the ring a little bit more. Um, but this is another one of my creations here. So, um, guys, it's a long time coming. I've been talking about soldering. Uh, um, people probably think I am a, uh, broken record, but this right here is a ring that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. It's, it's, uh, it, you know, getting yourself out there, you know, it's kind of make yourself a little vulnerable. Uh, so I know it's not perfect. Um, you know, but guys, I'm, I'm going to start making jewelry. Uh, so if anyone has something in mind, um, of course, even something like this, um, I will have some more available. Um, I do have quite a bit more bees. I have some moons that I'm going to be working on, some crescent moons, different appliques, different stones. Uh, So uh, the next time I go and solder, I'm probably going to bust a few more of these out and sell them. Uh, But if anyone's interested at the first, um, you know, crack at these, (laughs) uh, just holler. Uh, I'd love to make one for you. Uh, bear in mind that I am, I am new and, uh, this is, you'll, but you'll get something, you'll get something handmade by me for sure. So I wanted to share that. Thank you guys, uh, for your kindness, uh, for being so awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, I haven't figured out a cost of the B rings yet, but I'm looking at about $40, Um, And they would be per your size and they would include a stone and an applique just like this. Uh, Should you want the band plain? Should you want it embellished? um, You know, this would be for this ring exactly like this, $40. It is handmade by me. So I may, my mom's like, you need to hold on to your first ring. And I'm like, well, okay, I will. Um, but exactly if you were to be like, Hey, I want this same exact ring, $40. So this is, this is what you got little B and in the, you got buzz. So can you make necklace charms? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, I haven't mastered anything small yet. Uh, so yeah. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Hello. Um, with that being said, that's me. That's what I've been working on. That's what I got. Back to jewelry, <laughs> other jewelry. Um, 
that I haven't made. Let's go ahead and let's talk about this right here. Um, this is a bag and it's one of those really nice bags too. If you're familiar with bags, <laughs> these, this isn't the thin one that's just going to explode open. These are one of these thick bags. Um, this is a three pound necklace ring, uh, bulk jewelry lot. Now what I did to this is I got this from shop Goodwill. I unboxed it. I literally opened it up and shoved more stuff in on top of what was already in here. So, um, this isn't something that I pulled apart. Um, this is just adding to, in addition to, I had extra stuff that I wanted to, um, add to this. So I'm going to start this off at $10. Um, I can provide a weight because it is more than three pounds at this point. Um, but there is some stones. Um, you can see right here, I added this pendant. Uh, it has some carnelian. It's got some tiger's eye. Um, there's some name brands. There's some stuff that's literally just new um, because I've been looking for a necklace charm that has a crescent moon with an amethyst. Uh, it's definitely possible. Um, just send me a picture of what you're looking for and I'll try to be as honest as possible with you. So we have Deanna in at 10. Um, I did, so pretty much halvesies down is stuff that um, I don't know about. But other stuff that I do know about and that I have included um, is an Aldo wristwatch band. Um, got some abalone, layered necklaces, some stretchy, no junk. Um, all resellable items. As far as the bottom, I have no clue what's inside, but I really don't know. Really but um, here's another stone that I threw in here. It's just a little banded agate with a bale. We have Deanna in at ten. We're looking for twelve now. If anyone's interested in going up a little bit higher. The shipping on this will be priority flat rate padded mailer, which will be $8. So we have Gina in at 12. And uh, we've got a few necklaces, some that kind of remind me of Mala necklaces. They have like Jasper with a little bit of fringe. Um, this really fun mustard yellow bangle here. Can I have your Instagram or something so I can message you about it? Um, I don't have an Instagram for Moonstone Mamas and I don't have a Facebook for Moonstone Mamas, but you can email me through email. Um, I do have a, um, a Facebook, which is kind of sort of, I guess, dedicated to, it's just, I don't really share a lot of information on there. Um, okay, so we have Deanna in at, 14, Carol Jones right behind her. Gina Fancy in at 16. Deanna back in at 18. Carol Jones. Miss Carol, do I have your information, Sugar? If not, if you wouldn't mind just sending your information, um, your PayPal email and your zip code to the Moonstone Mamas at gmail.com as my um, mom graciously put in the chat. Um, we have Wendy in at 22. Thank you so much, Miss Wendy. We're looking for 24 now. So like I mentioned, um, the bottom half of this is unsearched, untested. I cannot, I do not know. Um, but what I purchased was this. And this was three pounds. Sorry about the focus. Uh, three pounds necklace, bracelets, rings. What does it say? Bulk jewelry. Nine, ten, twenty. Uh Anna Andal. Anna Andal. It's even name. Look at there. Um, Sandra, I don't believe I do, uh, but the worst thing's worse is that you resend it and I have it double time. <laughs> Gina says she is out. We have Wendy high bid at 26. Carol Jones in at 28. Oh, the city. Well, all right then. Well, I just thought it could also be the name. Let me go ahead and look, Carol, to make sure I have your information just to be certain.
I don't think I do. Thank you, Sandra. Really appreciate it. So, Carol, I just went ahead and looked, unless your name is under a different email. Um, I don't believe I have your information. So if you wouldn't mind sending it to me, it doesn't have to be necessarily during the, the hot bidding. Uh, it could definitely be after. Um, just need it before I invoice this evening. Um, wow, really? Yeah, you know, uh, you never know what you're going to get with Shop Goodwill. That's why I tell everybody when I'm doing an unboxing, check everything. Check every single bangle. Uh, check your chains. Uh, check your pendants because sometimes they'll just throw stuff together and you have like a sterling silver box chain. It happened to me just the other day. Um, so a lot of sterling right on. That's so great. And a lot of times, um, you know, and I don't blame them, something will be balled up and they'll just stick it in a lot and they don't want to deal with the tangle. Who wants to deal with the tangle? I do. I love tangles. Uh, but a lot of times they don't want to go through it and that's okay. It only works out for us. Right. Uh, so we have Carol Jones in at 32. She is high bid. Yes, yes, yes. For sure. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and start counting it down because Miss Wendy says that she is out. Thank you so much. And again, thank you so much for being with me here today. Yay! Sandra, I got your information. Thank you so much. And we can start calling it. I'm going to say go in once. Again, we have high bid with Miss Carol at 32. Going twice. There's a CD bangle in there. Lots of nice stuff that at least I added. No junk in there that I added. We're going to say fair Hi. warning to Miss Carol Jones at 32. And we're going to say sold. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, Carol, just um, if you wouldn't mind just sending your information one more time to me. Really appreciate it. So I can get that out. I'm so proud of you, my love. All right. So I have another uh, sterling silver. The um, charm is also sterling silver. Um, and... It measures fully extended seven and a half inches, but of course uh, you can make it smaller because it does have a lobster claw clasp. Um, this guy right here is a cutesy little swirl. You have your lobster claw clasp, which is sterling silver. Okay. You have this little tab right here, which also says sterling silver. This charm right here, and it is stamped on the inside, CZ925, hello, where am I? Um, as far as these um, accent rhinestones, I'm not 100% certain. I broke my gem tester or my diamond tester, so I haven't had a chance to test it. <laughs> so, hey, um, I'm going to start this guy off at $18. Um, there is some the tarnish on this. Um, I'm just, you know, full disclosure. Yeah. All right. Um, I did not, um, polish this up. Um, I don't know. What are you doing? All right. It could either be like a G or it could be like a wave. It's whatever you want it to be. Um, there, the rhinestones start at this point and then they're, they continue in that little circle. Mommy, I can cut it. All right. But if we have no interest, that's okay too. Um, I can go ahead and... Show something else here. 
let's go ahead and do a lot of natural stone bracelets. Um, do I have a weight? Mom, look, I did it. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me get it for you. Let me get my scale. Hey, you got to see my house. You're a bumblebee, and all I is a whistle. It is three grams, so it is it's lightweight. Three grams. And we have a watch in our house that goes off every day at 7.06. Wow. It was one that I unboxed in a lot. And uh, we can't seem to figure out which one it is. You got it, Invisible Bitter. Um, so now we just uh, we just use it as a, like now, like a cuckoo clock. 7.06 every day we know because that, Watch goes off. <laughs> Thank you so much, Invisible Bitter. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, like I was saying before, um, I have a lot here of uh, natural stone stretch bracelets. We're going to start the lot off at $10. Um, this is your... First one you have here, you have some Amazonite and some light pink rose quartz. And it's got a little angel on there. Um, you see how the angel is sitting there? Uh, you can remove the angel quite easily. I just went ahead and left it. Um, there is some little rosettes. Those are what those silver tone beads in between are. So that's number one. Uh, number two is a string of champagne color genuine pearls. Number three is invest in yourself, Labradorite. As far as how much flash it has, I really don't know. I haven't played around with this guy for too much, but invest in yourself. Number four, garnet. Very deep, dark, purpley red. Lots of really nice stretch to that. Uh, what would be a set without some hematite, of course? Perfect for grounding. You have a doubly fluorite. Fluorite, for those of you who may not know, uh, naturally occur uh, white, so it is clear. The mineral deposits in the fluorite is what changes its colors from yellow, green, purple, blue. Uh, so you have fluorite. You've got a banded fluorite here, this big chunk of ruski. Fluorite all the way around. It is connected to a purple beaded fluorite with a little cutie right here. That's going to go in the set. We have this guy right here, which is a dyed agate. And it's got a cutie little two-tone heart, a little glass bead. Mom. So you have one, I'm going to count this as just one. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven natural stone and a pearl um, bracelet a lot starting off at $10. Thank you, Carol. So there they are, a lot of stretch. If we have no interest, that is okay too. I'll go ahead and pass it. Let's go ahead and do Mommy, I did it. I'm so happy for you. Let's do this trinket box here. Um, I'm just going to sell this trinket box as is. This is like an India, Bali kind of trinket boxy, woxy here. 
As far as the stone is on top, I'm torn. I believe that it's a moss agate. Uh, there is nothing on the bottom. It opens up just like this. You can store your goodies in it. We're going to do this, guys. Buy it now for $10. Magic word is box. What's in the box? It is. Let's see here. Wow, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> one and three quarter inches. One and a half inches by a half an inch. Thank you, Ginger. You got it. Thank you so much. It's a cutie. And what I love about it is you see an open stone hole in the back. So it's just stone. Oh, so we're just lovey. All right. I don't know if there's anyone else out there who likes pearls, but I have some more pearls. I'll go ahead and show this set for anyone who may be interested. This is a, in my opinion, a more vintage set. And I keep on saying set because I do have the set. I have a necklace and I have a bracelet. So this guy right here, you have all genuine pearls and then you got some dangle bits of a more sunrise yellow um, potato pearls with some good old cream colored pearls and the matchy matchy. Uh, we're going to do this uh, set starting off at, let's say, $15 here. Um, there is no missing pearls. You have some nice movement. Um, the box clasp functions properly. Um, it, there's no markings on there. You can see nice hold. There is your box clasp there. It does have a little rhinestone accent. Let me go ahead and give you a measurement on both of those. That would help you determine if it'll work for you. Um, eight inches long in the bracelet there. And let me go ahead and give you a throw it on the floor measurement of the bracelet. 16 inches for the necklace. And of course, uh, I don't know if you'd want to in this particular case, but you can always use this as an extender on that. Have a little sparkle in the back. I don't know. Whatever works for you. But this is a cute set. We have Jennifer in at 15. Thank you so much, Miss Jennifer. So there she is. All of its glory there. You can't be upset when you see the color yellow, in my opinion. Wow, I did it. You did it. All righty. Now I can do the crazy. If we have no other interest, uh, we can start calling it for Miss Jennifer. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so, so much. We're going to say going once to Miss Jennifer. Going twice. Color crayons. Mom, do you want to put it together? Fair warning. Put what together, baby? And we're going to say sold to Miss Jennifer. Doing, Thank you so much. Hi, Jude. But I appreciate you. Yeah, I and I believe in you. Me. You got to teach me? Thank you for being so nice. Thank you. Thank you again, Miss Jennifer. What? What? Who said? Pebble peg. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and show these. Um, I already had them on the bust or the neck, dude. Um, thank you, Carol. I got it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so sterling silver, natural red coral earrings. I'm gonna do these as a buy it now for let's do these for 18. These, this bead up here is solid sterling silver. You have the red bead. I'm trying to move it with my hand so you can see it all the way around. Especially that little uh, that little pitting right there, the corner. You can see it is coral. 
Um, sterling silver hooks, sterling silver beads, sterling, 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 coral. $18. Magic word is coral. If anyone's interested. And 36 people in here. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Really appreciate it. Uh, these have a really nice movement to them. Really fun pop of red. I get it. I'm so proud of you. Mommy, I cannot see. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Hi, Doug. Yellow. X marks the spot. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here, hanging out. Nice little swirl design to them. Go ahead and, of course, give you a measurement of the drop. It's about two inch drop, not including the hook. It is about an inch and a half. So there it is. No worries. I'm going to go ahead and pass on these. And. Mommy, so curious and little. You probably have to restart it, baby. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um, for mommy, the is I have some more little skulls. I find them all over the place now. Uh, so I don't. I want my kids to be able to touch the things that I'm doing. I don't ever want to be that mean mom that doesn't. I don't know that doesn't let their kids touch this stuff as long as it's not anything that's gonna hurt them um you know i i just you know i loved them. so i found these underneath the couch i still had some more <laughs> uh these are gonna be twelve dollars uh and you can either um i'm just gonna do one through four and the number if you'd like to claim one for twelve dollars just holler so the first one i have here and of course i should mention um there is some uh imperfections to these um, and I'll go ahead and show you. Um, so this is fluorite and a majority of the ones that you're going to see is fluorite. Um, you have the green here. The majority of the skull is green and then you have some purple in the front here. So this is number one. If you'd like to claim this one, number one would be the number to put into claim. And it is really light, so my camera's having a hard time to get it. Yes. The second one I have here, again, another fluorite. This is wicked sick. This is deep, deep, dark purple. Very fun. There's the front. So number two would be the number... This one right here. So um, as you can see, I'm running my finger over it. There is no chipping. There is no um, any kind of anything. It's just this is the natural way that the fluorite grew. So it kind of looks like someone did like an uppercut to this skull's, uh, skull's <laughs> jaw here, which is one of my favorite things to do. Cheese. Did you take one? Yeah. Is it good? All right. Thank you. So this is number two. Mommy, I gotta teach you. You're gonna Dad teach me? Cheese. cheese. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. This is number three. Let's try again. You wanna try again? So, Chick Mix. What? Chick Mix. Chick Mix. Thank you, babe. And then this is number four, and this is amethyst. Its nose is a little smooshed in. You can see the quartz in the amethyst, and then you have a deeper amethyst. Thank you so much. <laughs> she, uh, my husband and I, after the kids go to bed, uh, we don't even like really talk to each other. We just get on our phones and kind of like decompress. Uh, Cause you know, I don't think any of us want to adult somehow or another. We always end up watching videos of the kids, which how can you not? But my daughter's speech has improved so much since just February. And since my son's been born. Uh, so it's been really cool, but like really kind of bittersweet at the same time. Um, I love them so much and I want them to grow and be happy and be well, but it's it, like I mentioned, it's bittersweet. Um, 
So I got this. Um, this is dyed howlite, and it's got some glass crystal dangles here. This is my style. Look at that. Um, for a guy who buys a lot of jewelry at live auctions, basically sight and scene, I just wanted to say I'm learning a lot. For you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, this one right here, let's just do this as a buy it now for six. You get this whole set. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yes. Six dollars. The magic word will be blue. Uh, these don't exactly match. I'm not certain that this was, this is how I received it. So this is how I'm, I'm sending it. My goodness gracious. My precious lovely baby what was wrong with your 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 videos <laughs> so blue is the magic word to claim this of course it does have an extender here uh it has a lobster claw clasp i'm guessing that it probably goes to about i can just measure it why not who's crazy now me I probably do need a doctor. You're right. Uh, 20 inches. 20 inches long. And it is... Little glass dangles there. Dyed highlight, dyed highlight, dyed highlight. Perfect uh, little, you know, in-between placeholder piece for when you get your bulk turquoise. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on this and let's go ahead and do this one. This one's gorgeous. Uh, this is really, really beautiful, long statement pendant bezel set. Um, you have some dendritic agate, uh, the necklace itself for the love of cheese and crackers. I don't have my normal ruler. Um, the gnomes took it. It is 18 inches. And the pendant alone is three inches long. Check out the pendant. Dendritic agate. Gorgeous. So you have the flat back here. So it's going to rest against your skin quite lovely. It's not going to roll around. Um, you have that flat surface there. And then, of course, it is rounded, your traditional cabochon shape oh, mommy, to set this eat. here. It is wire wrapped. So oh, my gosh. Your food is on the kitchen table. Oh, I mean, did you just hear? And then um, we have a... <laughs> promise I feed my children. Um, yep. All right. All right, let me be right back uh, because if it was a snake, it would bite her. So dead air, my apologies. Cordelia. Is that all right with you? Oh, gosh, you're just going to have to suffer. Is this a race or what? All right. Station break. Thank you so much, everybody, for your patience. Really appreciate it. So this guy right here, we're going to do this as a buy it now for... Eight dollars. The magic word oh, is long. Yeah. <sighs> Eighteen inches, three inch pendant. This is a dendritic agate. The metaphysical, the dendritic agate is supposed to help with back pain. I'll never forget that one quite lovely one of a really beautiful one to look through the light at 
check out all that, the growth from the inside, mineral deposits. But I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one. It's been sitting there for too long. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do a costume piece. Why not? Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, silver tone. Yep, 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 silver tone. Thank you, Rebecca. Got your sugar. All right, so this guy right here, again, another silver tone piece. We have three layers of wood here. You can wear it all kind of um, straightened out. It is kind of graduating in a sense that one of the strands is larger than the other one. Um, beautiful, deep, dark, neutral tones. Um, you have your raspberry reds, you have your forest greens, you have your blacks. Uh, we're going to do this for an $8 buy it now. Magic word is uh, woodchuck. Like that. Let me go ahead and take a measurement for you. Well, it's, a ladybug. it's 18 inches. 18 inches. It does have a lobster claw clasp there that functions properly. Again, you have one, two, three layers. You can wear it all laid out straight, or you can do a snazzy little twist and go. Uh, whatever fits your fancy. But I thought that these colors, I don't know if they're coming off across very well on camera, um, but quite nice, uh, quite lovely. Something that I would wear. Okay. And of course, if you're watching this on the replay uh, and something has not sold, uh, feel free to email me. I'd love to sell it to you or make you a deal, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just holler. All right, here we go. Um, so as I mentioned before, um, I do not have a gem tester. I do not, uh, I do not know. I have not tested this. Um, I have tested the metal and I can tell you that it is sterling silver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably say coral for, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say coral here. Um, this is about one and a quarter inch long, including the bale, and it's about an inch wide. So this right here, stunning pendant. Uh, like I mentioned, sterling silver, you have the black. Of course, my first idea goes to possibly cinnabar. Um, but I don't have enough knowledge um, in that category to determine if this is natural cinnabar or not. I know cinnabar has mercury in it, and it is kind of, uh, there's no kind of about it as poisonous to wear. Um, mercury is the red in cinnabar. Um, but with the striation back there, it, it could very well be coral. I'm not certain. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to start this off at $18. Uh, it does have a pretty large bale. You could put any kind of chain on it, should you wish, against stone hole. Uh, I can't. It is not, it's not marked anywhere that I could see. Um, it has no kind of any kind of markings for me to be able to determine how old this is. So $18 for this guy. What happened to the iPad? Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry about that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and scooch it on over here. Let's go ahead and show this guy. Uh, this is another costume piece. Um, this is signed San, uh, Susan Shaw. Mm -hmm. Susan Shaw. This is a multi-layer uh, necklace. It is uh, toggle clasp. It has a very large and long druzy. The beads that you see are also natural stones. You see the slushy type druzy there. 
Again, this is natural stone. This is not intimidating. You get what I mean. Uh, it is not resin. It is stone. Um, and of course, you have three layers here. You have the Susan Shaw hang tag. You have the original Susan Shaw price tag with no price or anything on it. Um, I'm going to do this guy as a buy it now for 12. Magic word is blue. I don't think that app works, boo. Sorry. Want to do Baby Shark? There you go. Thank you. Let's go ahead and give a measurement. Really sorry that I'm flubbing on the measurements, guys. Uh, it sits at about 14 inches. So it's a bit of a shorty. So 14 inches at its smaller one. So it's going to be cascading. I don't know if you'll be able to determine that by the look of it here. So you have that small one, this one, this one, all the way to the long one. Yeah, Baby Shark. You know, I don't mind Baby Shark. Um, there's other stuff where I'm like, but Baby Shark's not, not a problem for me. I rock out to Baby Shark all the time. She watches Trolls too, um, as well, I guess I should say Trolls as well. And uh, I don't mind watching Trolls, but when it comes to watching like the Minions and Despicable Me over and over again, I just, <sighs> I cannot. So anyways, there it is. Again, so you have your natural stone here, natural stone druzy. All those uh, blue green beads are also natural stone. Toggle clasp, new width tag. I'm going to go ahead and set it over to the side here. We'll pass on that one. And uh, hmm? there you go. Uh, it's cold. Yeah, Carly, I'll do, uh, I'll do 10. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and oh, do. Crying, Mom. Oh, oh, my daughter. Love of my life. What? <laughs> all right let's do this here um i've got a whole box of long natural stone necklaces uh let's start this off at ten dollars um and i'll show you what i have in here ten dollars i have a very long tiger's eye necklace that's gonna go in there i have a long rose quartz beaded necklace go in there mother of pearl i have mare come in for 10 first Clear quartz. Doug came in a little bit after her. Looking for 12 now. Oh, man. What's the matter? Yeah, there's nothing there. I'm also going to include in there um, a little iron eye single point silver tone. That's going to go in there as well. We got Doug in at 12, looking for 14. I'm going to include the How Light necklace that I had showed earlier. It is a natural stone. I'm also going to toss in here some abalone wood. Would you, could you? And let's go ahead and for funsies, let's throw this guy in there. Um, this is stamped. And also tested. 
Uh, it is Tharp, T-H-A-R-P-E-S-S, -S, sterling silver. This is Peridot. I'm gonna throw that in the box. Mayor says she's out. So I have Doug sitting at $12. Anyone interested in coming in for 14? If not, I am going to start calling it. We have Carly Q in at 14, looking for 16 now. Thank you so much. There's the box. Don't know why I'm showing you the box. <laughs> Contents inside that matter. Um, Doug in at 16. Thank you so much. Looking for 18 now. And let's go ahead and include something else then. Why not? I've got this fluorite Shambhala. Again, this is adjustable. Pull the little doodad there. So we have Carly at 18. Doug says that she is, he is out. Excuse me, I'm so used to using that pronoun. I do apologize about that. We can start calling it. So sorry. No, that's so weird. Honey, when you put on airplane mode though, seriously, like nothing's going to work. Like I'm doing my best to show you. Let's not get into the stocks though. Okay, babe. Hold on. Hey. Relax. Let me know. Relax. Relax. Go ahead. Okay, going twice. So sorry guys. Again, for those of you who are just popping in, I have a um box O natural stones. Uh, including some sterling silver and peridot. We have some uh, mother of pearl, abalone, fluorite. We're going to say fair warning to Miss Carly Q at 18. And we're going to say sold. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Miss Carly. Really appreciate it. Really, really, really. Thank you, thank you. All right. Your girl is sweating. There's no moving air in here. I don't know what's up with that. All right. Let's do another bunch of um, natural stone necklaces. And we'll start this the same. Start it off at 10. Um, the first one I'm going to show you here is your lava stone or aromatherapy. Um, you can put your essential oils on there, a little dab of perfume, whatever tickles your pickle. The rainbow is supposed to represent your chakra or a levelness um, to your body and all over calm. The second one I have is a natural stone cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. We have um, dyed howlite, strawberry quartz, raspberry quartz. Uh, you have mother of pearl, clear quartz. This is just a really fun one to look at. All different shapes, all different sizes. You even have some... Uh, flower embellishments on that one so that's number two z on that one uh we have of course the shambhala tiger's eye quite lovely uh number four in this set just kidding this is not number four rather it break on me than <laughs> my husband always uh says i i hulk out my bracelets but Hey, if someone's going to be rough on him, at least it's me. All right. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> uh, let's do. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Um, yeah. I got to be careful when I say that, though, um, so, as so that impressionable minds don't get impressionated by me. Whatever. Uh, we've got Kathy Allen in at 10. I've got three. I'm going to look around and see if I have any other ones to make it a four here. Um, because I just exploded that one. Not intentionally. <laughs> of course. Ah, I got another. I got a hematite. We'll go ahead and add that to the bunch. So Kathy Allen in at 10. Looking for 12. 
Good gravy boat. Uh, let's go ahead and add this one in there as well. It's like a corded one. This is not adjustable, but it does have a beautiful fluorite bead on there. That is quite stunning. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five bracelets in total, all natural stones. And we have Miss Kathy Allen in for 10. If we have no other interest, we're going to start calling it. Kathy, I hope you're well. I haven't seen you in a while. Seen you in a while. Going to say, oh, we've got Carly in for 12. Thank you so much. Looking for 14 now. This one also has some coral on it. Coral. Coral there. Uh, I believe we have some onyx. Definitely have some amethyst, the purple there. Uh, green glass. Lovely. Sabrina and Benji. You got Sabrina in for 14. Looking for 16 now. Check out this humongous heart. Yes, I did. I did, Carol. I did. Thank you so much. I love this one. I mean, can you imagine typing? It's exactly how you type, just like that. You got your tiger's eye, Shambhala. This, you hold the top and it adjusts just like that. This one, you have the Rainbow Chakra Lava Stone. Uh, Carly says that she is out. So we have Sabrina High Bit at 14. Kathy, did you want to come in for 16 or were you out? Sugar, just let me know. Um, and then, of course, we've got this one, uh, which is like a waxed cord. It's got stunning help if you can see it. Uh, waxed cord. Stunning here. Guys like my Chelsea shirt. This is my second one that I have in the first purchase. Uh, she is sitting the Mona Lisa and she's got a cigarette in her mouth. Guys, I love Chelsea. Uh, trailer Trash Tammy. Thank you, Kathy. All right. So we're going to say go in once to Miss Sabrina for $14. Really appreciate it. We're going to say go in twice. And thank you, Mom, so very much for typing in the chat for me. Really appreciate it. We're going to say fair warning to Miss Sabrina for $14. Still looking for $16. There you go. You're welcome. And sold. Thank you so, so, so much, Sabrina. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, let's do another fun one, in my opinion. Does anybody, uh, does anybody like bone? Um, I can tell you that this is bone. I can tell you that, um, I took a little research on uh, what ivory looks like. And I can guarantee you that this is not ivory. And in communication with, um, you have me till the ice cream gets here, that works. Um, I actually got information from Bolo Buddies uh, because her and I go back and forth about certain things. Um, and we were talking about bone on whether or not we can sell it on eBay. And you're allowed to sell bone uh, as long as it is a, um, uh, the word escaped me now, but basically anything that's not whale, anything that's not bison, bison, bovine, bovine. Uh, so anything is categorized as bovine bone, you're allowed to sell it. Um, this guy right here has a barrel clasp. This is vintage. You have the bone beads, you have some Amazonite, and then you have a um, little leaf pendant here, all bone. Um, thank you, mom, because I cannot literally, 24 inches, 24 inches. Uh, we're going to do this. Bone finds me. Bone finds me. Those and those Italian charm bracelets, the ones that pinch you when you wear them. Uh, we're going to do this one. Buy it now. $8. Magic words, bone.
And if anyone has the opportunity to look, I definitely recommend um, doing your own research and um, getting getting comfortable and familiar with, with of course, ivory and, and you know, the different types of, of bones so that you know what you're looking for and you don't pick up something that you can't accidentally sell. Uh, in my short time in uh, reselling jewelry, I have not picked up any pieces that I would think uh, was ivory. So um, I know you're not allowed to sell that without proper documentation or at all. So, all right. If we have no information, information, if we have no interest, what's happening? We'll go ahead and move it along here. Let's do some tiger's eye. If anyone's interested in some tiger's eye. Fully extended. This guy has a lobster claw clasp. Sits at about, hold it the right way. Where's my other ruler? Um, what's wrong with me? There it is. I don't know where my other ruler is. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this would be a perfect time to ask. It's my favorite thing to ask. Uh, what has everyone had for dinner? Uh, this is 17 inches long. Let me know. Uh, I personally made in the Instant Pot uh, chicken burrito bowls, which is like the inside of a burrito. Uh, so like low carb. We're going to do this guy as a buy it now, silver tone, 17 inches, tiger's eye. You have chip to a chunk. Uh, we're going to do this $8. Uh, buy it now. Magic word is brown. Let me keep it simple, basic there for you guys. Very fun. Um, I also really appreciate this added little extra at the end of the extender. They added just a little tip. Makes it super fancy. Brown is the magic word. Um, so yeah, I love my Instant Pot. Um, it's the best. Uh, I think my next, my mother-in-law actually gave me, she, it was her Instant Pot, but she was intimidated by it. And I think it sat in my kitchen cabinet for like a month before I was able to muster up the courage to get it. Turkey sandwich. I love turkey. Hi, Bob. Hope you're well. But we have no interest in this tiger's eye. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do this one. I've shown this one before, but I think that this is gorgeous. Um, silver tone class, but genuine pearls and genuine coin pearls. Uh, we're going to do this one um, as a buy it now for, let's do, let's do 14 on this one. This is stunning. Um, this has a beautiful titanium quartz pendant. Look at the humongous points inside there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know my camera is just a bit fuzzy right now, um, but it's got some humongous points from the blues to the greens uh, to the oranges. Of course, you have some more coin pearls here, um, glass beads that dangle off with some rhinestones and check the detail uh, on that toggle clasp. This is beautiful. It measures 20 inches long, 20 inches long. Again, it is acid tested. It is just silver tone, uh, but nonetheless, it is just absolutely lovely. There you go. There's a clear picture there. Of course, you have those little points there. It's just a quartz. Um, it is uh, soldered on the sides with a gold tone. Get your blanket, you goob. Mm. Boom is the magic word. Exactly. Just scratch my eye smidge. Sorry about that, guys. Really pretty. I love a good old cube 
glass cube. So it's got um, your coin pearls, potato pearls, really stunning. I love this one. If we have no interest, that is definitely okay with me. Okay. Um, so I want to show you before I do my last hurrah here, I'm going to go ahead and do something. This is the first time I've ever done it before. Um, but um, mom, no need to put anything in the chat. Um, I'm going to show you guys a glimpse of what I have listed on my eBay right now. Um, I'm showing my eBay as opposed to my Etsy um, so that you guys know um, if you have any interest in any of the items, I can link um, it in the chat. I can provide the link in the chat um, and you can give me an offer. Um, and I'll be willing to pretty much accept any willing offer uh, or any. Okay, you got it. Thanks, mom. Thank you so much. Uh, so any reasonable offer, I I definitely love to take it. Um, so let's go ahead and get over here again. This is me uh, screen sharing here. Um, I have a few things I just wanted to go ahead and show. Again, this is my first time doing anything like this. But guys, um, it's just to give you kind of an example of what I have. Because um, a lot of stuff I'll put directly on my eBay um, or Etsy as opposed to um, showing it at an auction first. So you see right here, I have a lot of things that are ending. They're just going to go ahead and relist. So uh, any reasonable offer, I'd definitely be willing to take on these. I do have a lot of other things that are not um, jewelry. Um but for example, here, I've got a lot of other stuff. Let me show you something. And if I'm going too fast, please forgive me. Um, but I do have quite a bit of items on here um, that you may have not seen. A lot of more higher end items. Um, and what I mean by that, and I also have some of my dad's toys here. Hold on, let me get to... Okay, so like this one, for example, here, um, Mark Jimenez... Um, I went ahead and looked up who the crafter was of this or the artisan was. Um, you get to see the marks. Definitely be willing to accept offers on this. I provide the weight and everything on here. Um, so my eBay name is Moonstone Mamas. Pretty easy peasy on that one. See if uh, I don't want to press anything. There it is. Moonstone Mamas just right there. Um, but if there's anything in question uh, that you have, uh, don't let the price intimidate you. Please just um, feel free to send me an offer. I have a lot of natural stones in here. A lot of things that I've put a lot of research and um, details into, um, I've looked up. Um, but a lot of times I went ahead and priced my items high just to kind of uh, get away from the low ballers. Um, yeah. That, that's that's basically it. But uh, I kind of just wanted to show you what I had on here again. I have a lot of vintage. I have a lot of sterling. Um, like I mentioned, I'd be willing to take offers. No problem. Um, I had done it, and this kind of spoke to me the other day um, because I had someone who was interested um, in an item. Um, and instead of just going out and digging in my bin, I just pulled up my eBay. Um, so I have a lot of bars, I guess I should mention as well. Um, lots of native, um, on here. Um, so just to give you guys a general idea of, of what I have. And of course, like I mentioned, uh, if there's anything that I have on here, do you have the link? I looked at the name, but it didn't come up. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. Yes, let me go ahead and do that. One moment here. Try to multitask. My eBay. And here we go. And there it should be. So, like I mentioned, a lot of stuff on here. Comparative prices. Um, yeah, 
just holler at your girl. Uh, sterling silver, turquoise, chunk. Yummy, yummy, yummy deliciousness. And again, guys, um, you saw my... Mommy. Mm -hmm. You saw my solder, um, my rings that I started doing. I'm going to go ahead and put me back up here. You saw my rings. Um, like I mentioned, um, I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into listing, especially with this new year that's coming up. Um, I'd really like to focus and concentrate a lot on putting a lot of listings up on my Etsy or eBay. That way you guys know exactly what you're getting. There will still be times where I do this. I'm going to be doing this, continue to do this. Um, but I really want to focus on, like I showed earlier, my soldering, making jewelry, making custom things. Um, so if anyone is interested uh, in having a ring made, having a pendant made, um, I do have an enormous amount of um, stones that I'm planning on working with. So um, stay tuned for that. So guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this as the last thing of the night. Yeah, are you watching them eat on there? I promise. <laughs> you have. <laughs> okay, she's really making me look bad, guys. I promise. I feed my children, and she's got a plate on the table. Um, this is the last thing I'm going to do, guys. This is a bag of unsearched um, earrings. Um, this is a bag that I had pulled out from one of my unboxings. Literally, they placed it in here. And upon looking at it, I noticed there was a lot of earrings. There could be other things in here, but this is unsearched. I'm going to start this off at 10 and per my usual last minute thing um, or last end of the night thing, um, I can go ahead and add more depending on how high the bid goes up. So um, definitely, most definitely, um, going to start this at 10. This will have to be shipped priority. Um, and I just noticed I did get an offer. So if that is anyone here in the chat, um, you guys always get first uh, dibs on the item and I'll check it immediately after. Another thing with that too is that if um, you guys send me an offer through eBay, that's not anything that you've seen in the auction, I'll ship it faster uh, because I tend to invoice only once a week as if I get things through my eBay or Etsy store, I tend to just ship immediately. So that's just a little fun fact for you. Um, okay, so I'm gonna quit yapping. I've got Wendy high bid at 14. Again, um, let me go ahead and provide the weight on this really quick to give you guys an idea of what you're looking at. This is a bit heavy. <laughs> Three pounds, five ounces. And again, um, unsearched. Um, I don't know what's in here. I can tell by looking at the outside. Hey, these kind of look like their earrings in here. Um, as far as I can see, there is a lot of boards. Um, and stuff. Got a cute little uh, gnome guy there, I think, or something. So let's go ahead and pepper the gumbo <laughs> a bit. And I'll go ahead and throw in the fluorite bracelets that I had earlier. I'll go ahead and throw in this beaded, I believe it could just be, nope, I'm not going to throw that guy in there. He just didn't look right. I'm going to throw this guy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you caught on everything? You have to leave the nest. I promise. It's okay. It's going to be... Who are you attached to? You know what? Let's just take the whole pile and let's put it in there. <laughs> For the love of God. Come to me. Forget it. There we go. Let's go padded flat. Yes, ma'am, it will. This is fluorite on aluminum, on illusion wire. There you go. That's going to go in there. Oh, that's so troublesome for me. 
a southwestern style necklace. We have what happened to Mona Lisa? Um, buying space. This is uh, she is a um, a character. Uh, her name is Chelsea Lynn. Um, she also goes by Trailer Trash Tammy, and this is some of her merch. Uh, she's a bit twisted and funny, and I really enjoy her. Uh, so I had to support her by buying her merch. Uh, I'm a sucker for crude comedy. So that's what she's doing. I'm going to throw this guy in here. Um, I believe this appears to be natural stone. This is wood down here. We have Wendy high bid of 22. Um, I'm also going to throw in this titanium quartz here. This is on a cord. <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to throw this guy in here. My mom and I debated on what this possibly could be. I thought maybe this was Azerite or Chrysocolla. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a natural stone beaded necklace. This is silver tone. That's a fun one there. Let's go ahead and throw this guy in here. Also, do we email about the asking... Or a better price. So just send me an offer. And I believe when you send an offer, you can just add in the notes, hey, saw you on YouTube or coming from the YouTube auction. This right here is coral. Um, when coral becomes older, it tends to lose its shine because um, naturally coral is not shiny. Uh, it's a bit more matte. So this right here I can tell is a uh, vintage piece. Um, this is, I believe, pewter. I can almost tell by rubbing it here that it's pewter. Um, and then we have a silver tone clasp here. That's also going to be included in the bag. Any questions? Sterling silver toggle. I did test this. This is also stamped. Um, and you have a cold item. I don't, I, I couldn't even tell you. There's a bit of, of uh, shift to it. I do not believe this is ceramic. I believe this to be stone, but that's going in there. Hi, bid at Miss Wendy at 26. I have this um, alpaca. This is uh, not sterling silver, nickel silver, but nonetheless, it is Amazonite down here in the shape of like a claw of some sorts. This is also going to be included. Uh, let's go ahead and let's add a fluorite skull in here. That's going to be included. We'll add the beautiful coin pearl necklace in there. We'll add this shell ring. Love this one. Can I have you turn that down just a smidgen? All right. So there's what we have in here so far. I actually, okay, so we have uh, Andrea in for 28, Bethany in for 30. This is a natural stone stretch. This is beautiful, ice cold, delicious, yummy, yummy. Um, it has beautiful banding. This is one that I would definitely shine at the light. You'll be able to see it is a black agate um, with some uh, lighter striations in there. Uh, so we have Wendy in at 38. High bid right now. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go ahead and add. Um, what else we got? Let's let's go ahead and add this uh, raw citrine cluster. Guys, when I ship um, an item that will include um, like the skull in here and this um, citrine point, these will be packaged individually um, so that they don't, you know, shard in here with your jewelry. So bear that in mind. Uh, we have Bethany at 40, looking at 42 now. What are they making? I'm going to throw this amethyst rough point in here, gold tone chain. I'm also going to throw in this one right here. This is a stunning piece. This is artisan and it flung artisan. In my opinion, uh, it does not have a clasp. 
You have your beads here all the way from carnelian uh, to howlite, magnesite, brass. This is a gorgeous one that's going to go in there. Untested um, liquid silver. I, like I mentioned, have not acid tested this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the back of the pendant. So we have Bethany at 44, looking for 46. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate you being here with me. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this one here. Uh, we have Wendy at 48. We're looking for 50. This says Leanne uh, Netzau. I'll go ahead and show you. I have not, it's probably gonna bite me in the butt, but I have not done comps. Um, when we get to 50, it turns into $10 bid increments. Uh, this right here has a hook clasp. All the silver that you see is indeed silver. It is sterling silver. You have this huge honking natural stone flower here. Uh, so again, the name is Leanne Netzau. Um, this is beautiful. This has been acid tested. Let me go ahead and get that. This is going to be the, um, the next piece I'm going to throw in here. Just make sure that I have my bids all right. Uh, so we have Wendy in at 48. Bethany, uh, if you wanted to come in at 50, that's okay too, because that would be the next thing, uh, to go up to. Uh, if not, um, just let me know. We can go up to 62. Just let me know what you would uh, prefer. Okay, we have Bethany in at 50. So Wendy, if you are interested, we'd be looking for a $60 bid. And is it uh, Marielli? Did I say that right? Maybe, possibly. But again, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this guy in there. Lots of fun. And I'm gonna try to untangle this guy. When there's some wire work. All right. Wendy says she is out. Thank you so much. All right. Last thing I'm going to go ahead and throw in here again. Like I mentioned, this has some wire work to it. I do not own a gem tester, but you have a beautiful green stone nut stone here. Natural stone beads that are faceted. Some are high polished. Some are matte. And... Boom, boom, boom. So again, I'll be able to roll this up into a nice, tight little burrito here. And uh, yeah, shove it in a padded flat rate. And by shoving it, I mean wrapping it with grace uh, in a padded flat rate uh, and sending it off to you. Um, so I'm going to say going once and I'm going to go ahead and type it. I do apologize. I'm going to say going once to Miss Bethany for 50. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. You know, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Going mm -hmm. twice. Look at that. Fair warning. And we're going to say sold to Bethany for $50. Thank you so very much. So, guys, that is that's the end for me. Um, I will be invoicing this evening, uh, right after the show, um, after I, of course, put my daughter down to bed <laughs> It's 8 uh, p.m. my time here. Um, thank you so, so very much, everyone who came. Um, let me know if you guys like this time better uh, or if you prefer my normal time. Just let me know. Um, yeah, of course, guys, you saw here I'm making jewelry. Um, I'll let you know uh, a reasonable price, but I am making jewelry. I'm dedicated. I'm committed. And I'd love to sell some of it to you <laughs> if you'd like. So feel free to send me an email. It is the email scrolling at the bottom. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, love to hear from you. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys.